Oh, I think I forgot my book downstairs. I'll be right back, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, of course. Okay. Girl, you have the guy. Good plan using the house while everyone's at the wedding. Meet that a reception party that Damon won't forget. Text me tomorrow if you need help with the hookup. Damon's hot. <gasps> She's gonna sleep with him. The night of the wedding. <sighs> okay, uh, so I'm not much friends they got here. I broke an ear drum. <sighs> Damon's just giving us a sampling of tonight's music. That's so you're, you're gonna play DJ. Try and stalk her. Huh. I'm so down with that. That's that's not cool to say down. Well, ever. Oh, uh, I'll get that. I'm looking for Todd Martin. Yeah, hi, I'm Ted Martin. No, he's not Ted Martin. Are you Todd Martin? Yeah, where's he? Who are you? I'm Ted Martin. I, you sorry hung about up on me before we could talk about talk money. Jasmine. I'll need half my fee before I perform tonight. She says the word perform. What does she mean by the word perform? Get away from me. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Really sorry. But there's been a, a change in plans for tonight. Oh, uh, Dr. Price, I told the nurse I wanted to see my mom. I didn't expect her to pay you. I'm sorry, but your mother's not here. What happened? I was going to call you. She was sent back to the institution this morning. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm needed in the ER. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm fine. Thank you for letting me know. Of course. Jane. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, um, I just came to visit my mom before the wedding. Jake told us what happened with Janet. I'm sorry you had to go through that. No, oh, it's it's been so upsetting to see her that I've stayed away, but um, but today I finally felt strong enough. How did it go? It didn't. Um, she was transferred before I even got to see her. the day before my wedding. And good or bad, she's my mother, you know. She's my family, and now she's gone. You have family, dear. You're part of ours. And you always will be. Glad to see JR didn't scare you away. No, I think I scared him away. Hmm. Actually, I think you scared him away. I love seeing you two together. It's so clear how much stronger you are. Ah, oh, I love it. And I love that you are not scared to take risks. You mean steal? Bummer's gone. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Sometimes I wake up half expecting him to be standing over me, wagging a finger at me. You didn't hurt him. You were his friend. I mean, you kept him company before he died. The technology belonged to him, Annie. If you hadn't taken this idea and, and completely run with it, somebody else would have, Scott. And I know you. You'll, you'll take the proceeds, you'll take the profits, and you'll, you'll do something good in the world. Listen to me. Let go of the guilt and embrace your success. You know what you need? You know what I need? What? A break. From this, from work, from the, the family drama, let's, let's take a break. I tried giving you that yesterday by taking me out to lunch. I know, and I loved that, but all the gossip mongrels ruined it. So let me do this for you. What? 
Meet me in half an hour. A hotel room. Little puppet made of pine. Oh, wait. C -com -c commanded. The blue fairy commanded. Come on, you know this. Sorry, Daddy. No, I'm sorry. I should never be impatient. That's a hard word. You know how proud I am of you? Yeah, don't ever forget it. Can I go Can I go out and play on Emma's new swing set? Of course you can. I'll never make him feel like a disappointment. You chose Scott to run Chandler to prove a point. That was a mistake. It was a big mistake. And I'll prove it. No, 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 meet me there. I want to finish this today. Yeah. Great. All right, I'll see you there. Room 423.